Dawn, 27th of September 2022, Iranians take to the streets for the 12th night of anti-hijab demonstrations organized by women. Iranian women desire to shed the constrictive hijab, yet many in India want to compel and legitimize it. In defiance of a crackdown that a rights group claims have killed more than 75 people, Iranians protested on Tuesday for the 12th consecutive night over the death of Masa Amini while she was being held captive. The 22-year-old Kurdish lady died while being held by the infamous morality police for allegedly breaking the Islamic Republic's strict dress code, which sparked the women-led protests. Foreign-based opposition media reported that large-scale protests persisted in various places, but activists claimed that internet restrictions made it harder to get video footage out. In a video posted by the Monito television channel, a woman is seen in the Narmak neighborhood of Tehran without her headscarf and waving her arms in the air. The track also reported on a protest in the southern port city of Chabahar. According to reports from London-based Iran International TV, women are shown taking off their headscarves at Sanan Dodge in Amini's native Kurdistan province, and a guy burns a banner of Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei in the southern city of Shiraz. The Center for Human Rights in Iran, based in New York, stated that although Iran continues to experience internet and cell phone outages, certain movies are still being distributed. Since Amini's passing on September 16th, around 60 individuals have died, according to Iran's semi-official Fars news agency, up from the death toll of 41 officials recorded on Saturday. However, the Oslo-based organization Iran Human Rights IHR, reported that the crackdown had claimed at least 76 lives. Authorities reported making more than 1,200 arrests on Monday. Along with demonstrators, those detained also included activists, attorneys, and journalists. While activists faced a broad claim that the government has been employing ambulances to transport security troops, Health Minister Baram Inalahi, as quoted by the state news agency Erna, accused the demonstrators of burning 72 ambulances. The crackdown has been criticized by people all across the world. Freedom House, a U.S. research group, joined the chorus on Tuesday and urged other governments to stand with these heroic demonstrators and hold Iranian officials accountable for their misdeeds. This week saw a rise in tensions with Western governments as Tehran summoned the British and Norwegian envoys, Germany summoned the Iranian ambassador, and Canada announced penalties. Mahmoud Amiri Mogadam, director of IHR, said, We call on the international community to decisively and jointly take tangible steps to halt the death and torturing of protesters. He claimed that the live ammunition is being directly shot at demonstrators, as evidenced by video footage and death certificates IHR had collected. According to recent video footage released by AFP, students tore down giant portraits of Khamenei and his late predecessor Ayatollah Ruhollah Khomeini. At the same time, riot police in black body armor beat protesters with truncheons in ongoing street confrontations. The Committee to Protect Journalists reports that at least 20 journalists have been taken into custody. According to Masa Ali Mardani, senior Iran researcher for the Freedom of Expression organization Article 19, the internet outage was as severe as the fatal protests that broke out over fuel price increases in November 2019. Content no longer appears as frequently as it once did. We had some access to Iran, but that seems to be gone now. The possibility of even more bloodshed is quite terrifying, she remarked. Ghulam Hussein Moshenyehe, the head of the Iranian judiciary, has emphasized the need for decisive punishment without tolerance against the protest organizers. However, a prominent Shiite cleric who has historically supported the ultra-conservative establishment in the nation has asked authorities to adopt a gentler stance. Grand Ayatollah Hossein Nouri Hamadani remarked, the leaders must listen to the people's demands, address their difficulties, and show sensitivity to their rights. Diplomatic efforts to resurrect a nuclear agreement between Iran and foreign powers abandoned by then-U.S. President Donald Trump in 2018 have been hampered by Western condemnation of the brutal crackdown. Josep Borrell, the head of the EU's foreign policy, who has been in charge of those efforts, criticized Iran on Sunday for its widespread and disproportionate use of force against nonviolent protesters. The Iranian Moral Police were subject to penalties last week by the United States, and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announced on Monday that his nation would follow suit by imposing sanctions on dozens of individuals and businesses. The job must be outlawed in Canada, the United States, and worldwide.